meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Good morning to you. The time is 743 and we have that tornado watch in effect through 10 a.m. Not for the entire area, not for Baton Rouge, but this includes Point Coupe and the Felicianas heading into St. Helena and then Tangipaho and Washington Parish in South Louisiana. That's a yellow color you see. Now, could we see another tornado watch issued later on? That's definitely the case. That is a possibility. But as of right now, this particular watch will continue through 10 a.m. Also, we have a flash flood watch in effect for all the areas shaded in green. That's in effect through late Wednesday. As even when, when the severe weather threat ends later on tonight, we'll still have the chance for some uh, quickly accumulating rainfall. That's why the flash flood watch will continue through late tonight. As of right now, we're just seeing plain showers out there. The, the skies look a bit ominous, but we're just seeing plain rain, not seeing lightning or anything, just uh, uh, some light green indicating some light, maybe moderate showers. Now, the heaviest of rain and the severe thunderstorms are staying to our north as of right now. And because of its uh, stalled boundary over the area where you're seeing right here, that's where we're seeing the severe thunderstorms. You have two air masses colliding, and that is why you just have so much in stability building and then that area of low pressure spinning over Texas right now that's just fueling the atmosphere there's a lot going on in the atmosphere and you can see the two air masses here's the cooler uh, cooler air right now a little more stable air and then the more uh, unstable air right now you can see Baton Rouge sitting right at 74 degrees it's warm it's very muggy that's going to add energy to the atmosphere later on with all of the all the systems going on all the dynamics that will come together and we'll have the threat for strong to severe storms. That is why the Storm Prediction Center has placed our area. And you notice it's more narrow now, um, showing that there's a greater confidence of where the greatest potential for some severe weather will be. That includes our entire area. Now, the main threat will be damaging winds and hail, although tornadoes and flooding will be a good possibility as well. Our damaging wind risk, there's a 15% chance, and that is essentially the probability of damaging winds within 20 five miles of a given point. So the, the main threat will be damaging winds along with hail. Tornado, that is a little lower, uh, around a 5% uh, probability of a tornado at uh, within 25 miles of a given point. Now, this mainly includes the I-10 corridor and areas to the north as well. It's kind of a narrow um, area, but this is where the ingredients will be most favorable for that to um, occur. As we head through the morning, again, expecting these showers and storms to flare up. This is the latest run of the HRRR model, which is a high resolution model and that is showing some of where the heaviest of rain is expected so we'll just see waves of showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon through the evening hours so you need to stay weather aware between now and through the evening this is around 4 30 we're seeing showers and storms developing once the sun goes down it does look like the threat for severe weather will begin to subside at least for our area pushing perhaps a little closer to New Orleans closer to the coast but either way when you're going to bed tonight, you can sleep with ease knowing that the severe weather threat has ended. But we're not going to be done with the rain. In fact, we'll see another wave of showers through the morning hours, and that is all because of the cold front passing through. When we're waking up tomorrow morning, may have a few showers here and there, but we're not expecting anything heavy. In fact, our Thursday shaping up to be much better. So today, severe thunderstorms are possible, along with areas of fog throughout the day. Warm, very muggy, and a little breezy at times. Tonight, much cooler, 55 degrees when we're waking up. And then tomorrow, we'll top out right around 64 degrees, and we'll see clearing skies gradually. Through the weekend, looking so lovely, 60s and then 70s, and we stay rain-free.